You wouldn't blow any more money on gambling, Joe. Uh, 520. You yeah. promised me. Hey, look, and Jesus promised he'd wipe your tears away too, right? Right? Before Cordell leaves, or any of the other individuals. I'm not taking this shit anymore, Joe. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you ever so much as lift a pinky finger in my direction again, I swear I kill you. Should be commended for that. How many more times? She was taking this shit her whole life, man. Did you see her face? Yeah. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. No, no. Just give me a second to think, all right? He's gonna get his ass. It's just time to think. Gotcha. Give thanks. Too hard just to pay the bills, still Rent is high though, I puff the endo just to pass the time away Don't get it confused, I never abuse the marijuana But I'm Mary Jane, don't take the medication just to ease the pain Focus on the strain, get the best results Talk with your physician if you a chatty patty Hotboxing in the caddy on the passenger side Thank you for one minute of your time For real Life is real, I work too hard just to pay the bills, still, rent is high though, I put the endo just to pass the time away, don't get it confused, I never abuse the marijuana, or the Mary Jane, I blame my parents that I'm dope, I'm not ashamed, my aim is to make you think we one and the same, clearly we're not, stay in your lane, drive slow, homie, call pool in school and dropping jewels in a rhyme, love is blind unless you're banging her from behind, Double vision got you climaxing all the time. The girl is mine, I call my car. Say, 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 say what you want. Don't play with my emotions. Please don't front. It's like vegan butter on croissant. You better get the dough, boy. Menace to society with the ice cube grill. For real, life is real. I work too hard just to pay the bills. Still, rent is high though. But I got this crazy idea. Gonna set your mom up right and get your pops back at the same time. I'm listening. So I was reading an article online the other day, right? A couple kids out of a bank, pellet guns. They got caught, they did three years in prison. Three years. Man, I could do that shit in my sleep. So what's that gotta do with us? Jasmine works at a bank, right? Yeah. Use her to 
case that shit. You know, set some demands, snag enough money to get your mom set up right, demand your father gets kicked off the police force, get the media behind that shit, next thing you know, it goes viral. Then, you're fucking heroes. Yeah, you might get caught, you might do some time, but that shit'll be petty compared to the payoff, right? Sure thing. It would take a white boy to think of some shit like that. So you're just gonna stare? You looking good? Yeah, right. You're just saying that. For real though, I ain't never think I'd make it past 18. Now I got myself a little daughter. I knew you would. How? I willed it. I got a whole, a whole daughter now. What am I supposed to teach her? How to scale up an ounce? What an ounce even is? How to survive? Stay alive? How to shoot a fucking gun? Like, all my homeboys are either dead or in jail. Yet for some reason, I'm still here. So obviously that's some type of sign or something, right? You know I got your back either way. I don't know. Good about yourself. I'm all right. Thanks for meeting me out here. If everything goes well, this is where you're going to be working. Okay, okay. So, tell me a little bit about your work experience. Um, kind of been doing my own thing for a while now. I see. Look, I hustled for 10 years. I didn't have a choice. Pops was in my A. Moms are too sick to work, and I have four siblings. Most people take a look at people like you and me and they judge us. I just wanted you to know that I get it. So what changed? To be honest, I got a daughter now. Oh, congratulations. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Hold on. This my uh, baby mama right now. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Appreciate it. Hello? Hey babe, can you pick up some milk on the way home? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Sorry about that. No problem, no problem. So you ever been arrested? No, sir. That's good. You don't have a record. You know, I happen to be lucky or something. You know how to handle a gun? Yes, sir. Good, good. Well, speaking of luck, today's your lucky day. The contract I have here is Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. I know it's not typically what you're used to, but I can start paying you a little bit above minimum wage. 
I do got to run a background check, though, but as long as nothing shows up, then we're good. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. No more clouds. I won't let you down either, sir. Good morning. I believe you. Yeah. Have a good one. It's a right, beautiful too. day today. <laughs> Think I might wake and bake. <laughs> Had to put down the perks. <laughs> what am I try today? <laughs> Been through the stormy days. <laughs> Remember when skies were gray. <laughs> yeah, depressing a bitch. <laughs> but I feel blessed to say. <laughs> a beautiful day today. <laughs> Think I might wake and bake. <laughs> Had to put down the perks. <laughs> what am I try today? <laughs> Been through the stormy days. <laughs> Remember when skies were gray. <laughs> yeah, depressing a bitch. <laughs> but I feel blessed to say. I feel great today. You love me? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> Look, we're three months in. I need to know. You're bullshitting me, right? No. Yeah, I love you. Then why haven't you told me? Because would it change anything? Maybe. I'm going to leave him. What? You okay with that? I mean, yeah, I just didn't expect to hear it. Yeah. It's going to crush my family, especially Destiny. Yeah, that's true. I got a text from her this morning. She says she's loving being a new mom. She said her boyfriend's changed. <laughs> <laughs> Giving up the drug life, huh? Yeah. We'll see how long that lasts. Mm. I'm happy for her, though. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you never know. Yeah. I'm going to plan a vacation for just the two of us. How do you feel about that? Yeah, that sounds great. You should be more optimistic. Yeah, but you know how long I've been doing this shit? It's exhausting. It takes time, Josh. Yeah, well, I got another idea I actually want to talk to you about anyway. Okay. Can we discuss it tomorrow? I'm at home right now and I can't talk. All right, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Bye-bye. No, really. Thank you, baby. When I got this one chick I'm feeling right now, no. Nope. I'm Jasmine. How you doing? I'm Tristan. Nice to meet you. How long you uh, been working here for? About a month since they started. Okay, okay, okay. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I gotta go do my rounds. But it was uh, nice meeting to you. You too. Why didn't you show up today? My bad, I had to work through lunch. It's okay, I understand. I'll make it up to you. Thank you.
What's wrong? Same old shit. Father? Yeah. What did you do this time? Another eviction notice. Damn. I know, right? We ain't moving this time. I don't want mom going through that shit anymore. How much money you need? I don't even know yet. How much you got saved up? Shit, like three stacks. I was hoping I could move out with it though, but looks like mom's gonna need it. I'm tired of this shit, man. Hey! I'm sorry. It's okay. We don't figure it out, okay? You know what I really want? I want a family. A wife, a kid. I want to make sure those kids go safe. I don't know. This thing. What are you doing now? I have class, but I get out at night. Can I see? With my mom not tripping. Alright. Well, I gotta go. I'll catch you later. Jasmine, where are you going? You know where I'm going. Come sit down. Jasmine, I understand Omar is a nice guy, but being nice is not good enough. Ma, you just don't know the situation. I don't need to understand. He been out of high school for two years, and he's still working at a fucking grocery store. Not everyone could be like you. He don't need to be like me. I represent the real world, real life. I love him. And there's nothing you can say that's gonna make me look at him different. How many times have you had to move? I've lost count. What does he be doing with the money? He gambles. Do you know how much money you need? We got 10 days to come up with $4,000. I only got 3000 Dex ain't working right now. He's in training camp. Where the hell am I going to get $1,000? Well, I just started working at the bank. I could put in my hours and give you half. Nah, I can't ask you to do that. Look, oh, I, I know how much your mother means to you. I'll do whatever I can to help out so we can get back to doing us. Okay? I like that idea. I like it a lot. Just... Let me help my mom get out of this current situation. Then we'll do us, all right? I love you, Omar. I know. I love you too. Did Omar have to work today? Yeah. What are you doing after your workout? Um, nothing. Why? Nothing, never mind.
Are you sure everything's okay? Alright, um, I'll be right back. I don't like the brat. Mine khaki, I just like to hop on these bees and the snatch. I fell out the map. But I got it right back. It took me a while, but I'm finally moving. I'm only attached. I don't do beef. And that's no cap. So you want a problem with me? I'm a family. You need that. Bang this shit. You know what I'm quick. I'm just trying to finish it. I'm doing this. Fuck it, let's get it. Fuck it, let's get it. Just keep the delivery. We had to get out. Try to change the scenery. I got a pen, so I know this ain't it for me. Watch out for snakes. You all right? 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 You had a few steps, few step back. I want it all back with a rest that. Stop getting boxed, check that. Wanna work, let's work shit back that. Don't like me, shit can't help that. What's up, coach? What's going on? What are you talking about? You want yourself out there today? You ain't focused. Look, sit down, man. Look, you know you got a lot of shit. You know you got a lot of stuff going on at home. And as your coach, I'm here to help you manage that. But they ain't gonna be so understanding on the next level. I know. I know. Look, I know what I said, but... An injury didn't end my career. I lost my temper. I attacked the coach during practice. They kicked me off the team. No other organization would touch me after that. What? Yeah. Not that they should have, but they didn't even ask why. You know why I lost my time? Got some random chick pregnant. Some chick I met at a house party. You know? Fuck the same night. She refused to get an abortion. She refused to get an abortion. I brought that shit on the court. Into my career. Damn, coach. I never knew you had a kid. Yeah, I don't. Little man was stillborn. My bad. I didn't hey, know. Hey, not a big deal, man. But um, that's why I'm here. Not to just teach you the game, but to teach you the game. I know you gotta go. Can you wash my car, please, sir? Tristan? It's Kim, Destiny's sister. Oh, how you doing? Good. Congratulations. Uh, what you talking about? The baby. Oh my God. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. So how long you been working here for? I just started like a day ago for real. Oh wow, well good for you. Thank you. So what is it you wanted to talk about? So it finally dawned on me. I can either keep auditioning for that big role or I can be the star of my own damn movie. So I finally finished my script. Oh wow, I didn't know you were a writer too. That's awesome. So what is it about? So it's about this guy who loses his memory after a car crash and then falls in love with his therapist. And when his memory returns, he has to choose between his first love and his new girlfriend. I like it, I really do. 
but aren't films pretty expensive to make? I mean, where would you find that kind of money? That's where I was hoping that you could maybe help out. What? What do you think? I don't know, Josh. I mean, how much are you talking? 50000 Whoa. $50,000. Listen, I know how that sounds, but when it comes to making a movie, that's actually not that much money. And I have some connections and resources that could help offset some of the costs. Not a lot of money? That's easy for you to say. I would make you executive producer, you would be in charge of all the financial decisions and negotiating with the distributors. I had to think about that one, Josh. I'll tell you what, let's talk about it more during our getaway. All right, sounds good. I gotta go back to work. Love you. Hold on before you like that. I got something I want to talk to you guys about. And I want everybody right. <clears throat> Why was that? I've been thinking about your idea. Your idea. What? And I think it might work. <laughs> oh, I gotta hear this. I use Jasmine to case the bank. I mean, I meet her for lunch damn near every day anyway. We hit the bank and we take everyone hostage. Hostages. Wait a sec, hear me out. Once the cops get there, we tell them what we want, and once they meet our demands, we release the hostages. And by the time we turn ourselves in, our story will be all over the news, miles are straight, and we embarrass the fuck out of our dad. Shit, I'm down. Really, yo? Hostages? That's some serious shit. We could get out of time for that. We? Yeah, we. Who said anything about we? <laughs> so it's like that. You damn right. You think I'm scared of something? I ain't got nothing to do with that, Dex. It's got everything to do with the fact that you have a full ride with a good college. And I'm not gonna let you fuck that up. That's my fucking decision to make. Look at me, man. I stock food at a fucking grocery store. Trey's a fucking dope head. We ain't got shit to lose, but you? Dude, you're good. All you gotta do is not fuck up. So I guess I wasn't there all the times we got evicted. Sleeping in hotels and shit. All the times we heard mom screaming and being thrown around the room like a fucking rag doll. All the times we had to use clothes to patch your wounds because we ran out of bandages. I guess I missed all that shit. I mean, he's right though. It's his call. I got your back. You just, you just figure it out. I'm here to pick up my girl. I've been casing the joint for the past few days now. They got an armed security guard. He goes on lunch break from 12 to 12.30 every day. We make our move right after he leaves. That way, by the time he gets back, the cops are already there, and there'll never be a reason for him to use his gun. We do it Tuesday. That's the slowest day. Trey, can you get the replicas? Yeah. Today's Friday, so we have between now and Monday night to make up our minds.
You sting. Yeah. Mm. I'm just trying to picture that shit. You in a security guard uniform with a gun strapped to your waist. Bro, fuck you, Jamal. My boo could be janitor. It wouldn't matter to me. Thank you. Nah, for real though, dog. Bad respect. You heard about Lo? Nah, what happened? Man, he sold to an undercover. For real? Yeah, he was sold out by your boy Deuce. So you probably dissed the game at the right time, bruh. You was probably next. Yeah, I ain't fuck with Joe anyway. He cut. I got it, I got it. Sit down, sit down. Damn. I don't even recognize that dude anymore. Ever since she was born, he changed. He hasn't been the same since. That's what's up, though. We shopping at the dollar store again, though. But it's cool. You know Tristan. When it comes to money, he's always been tight. So we go for a while. Y'all your eyes on our baby. Look at her. Don't get used to that shit. You fucking up for all of the bros. So what are you going to do if niggas rob the bank? Bro, fuck that. Bro, I'm not taking no... Bro, look at me. I'm there to get paid, and that's it. You heard me. I heard you. All right, then. You've been in this basement for three months now. Why don't we just get a divorce? Kim, we've already talked about this. I've tried it your way. I can't keep doing this. I'm just not built like that. <laughs> Says the wife without a care in the world. Why did you even marry me? Why are you complaining? On top of having everything you could possibly dream of, you even get to have a boyfriend. That's not fair. I signed up for an exclusive relationship, then you go and drop this open marriage bullshit on me. You can go back to your old life. I just came down here to let you know that I'm not going with you to visit your parents. That's not how this works. I'm not going with you to visit your parents. I've made other plans. Hey. Hi, baby. I got the ticket. Oh, really? Our flight is scheduled for Tuesday afternoon. I'll pick you up at around 11.30, okay? Okay, bet. I can't wait, babe. I can't wait either. Love you. I love you, too. Bye. Bye.
man. Dex, you early. Yeah, I want to get some extra work in today. Oh, that's good. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, family stuff. Okay. D, what's what's going on? Have you ever been in a position where you had to do something, but you knew it was wrong, and you felt like it was your only option? Plenty of times. Now you handle it. Dex, welcome to man. It's about making decisions and being able to live with the consequences, good or bad. That's that's what manhood's all about. Look, with the uh, limited information you've given me, that's about the best advice I can give you. It's all good, Coach. I appreciate it. No problem. Coach, I won't be here on Tuesday. I got some uh, family business to handle. Okay. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, he's up in the room. Who is it? Omar. Come in. Hey, uh, look, I need to talk to you. About what? The eviction notice. Okay, talk. I'm not gonna let us get evicted. I'm gonna figure out a way to come up with the money. So you came all the way in here to tell me that? Well, congratulations. Glad to see you stepping up to the plate. I'm not finished. Watch your tone. I want you to leave. What'd you just say? I said I want you to leave. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that shit. No, you heard it. If I'm gonna pay the rent around here, then I call the shots. And I'm telling you, I want you to leave. Look, I love you, and God knows I've tried to respect you. But if you lay a hand on me, I give you my word, one of us is gonna die today. So what's it gonna be? You gonna leave or what? Well, to answer your question, no. Now what you gonna do about it? That's what I thought. But when you ready to do something about it, I'll be right here. Then we'll see who dies. Hey, baby. tell you, you don't have to worry about a thing, okay? I'm finding a way to round up the money so we don't have to move. Are you, are you okay? Yeah, mom, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just handling my business. That's not your business. That's your father's business. You need to handle your business. 
Well, I will handle that. Mom, I need you to trust me, okay? I'm gonna take care of you. I promise. Hey, uh. What's up? What's going on? Hey, uh, you think you can take Tuesday off next week? Huh? I'd like you to spend a day with me. Oh, why Tuesday? I just started working there. It's too early for me to be requesting days off. Look, Jasmine. I'm about to start working a lot of overtime to come up with this money. Tuesday's the only day I'll have off for a while. And you know what I've been going through. I just really need this time with you. It's gonna be a special day, I promise. Hey, really? Yeah. Okay, I'll ask my supervisor. Cool. Don't say no for an answer. Okay. So you should be able to cash the check. Let me just override this real quick. All right, there you go. Let me know if you need anything else. Miss Forbes, when you get a second, can I speak with you? Sure. So I was wondering if I could take tomorrow off. Tomorrow? That's short notice. I know. Um, I'll have to see if I can get someone to fill in for you. Okay, I would really appreciate it. Is everything okay? Family. Oh, well, I'll let you know by close of business. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Mom. Hey, baby, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. You sound really happy. I am happy. Mm, did you eat? No, not yet. I'm gonna get something later. You sure? Yeah. Well, I have something I want to talk to you about. Spit it out. I'm taking tomorrow off. You just started the job. A month ago. You just started. I already requested off. Why? I'm going to spend the day with Omar. You're going to spend the entire day with Omar? Yes. Well, what's the occasion? He proposing or something? Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? Ma. What is wrong with you? He's not good for you. Why are you acting like that? Because he work at the grocery store? Well, we could start there, yes. He works at a grocery store. It's just a job, Ma. It's just a job, but he can do better than that. He's been out of school for two years and he's still working. But he's supposed to go to college like everybody else. He could try. I just want what's best for you. I hate that. I... Why do you hate it? Because you're projecting. I'm not projecting. Just because things didn't work out with you and dad don't mean the same thing gonna happen to me. Well, he ain't shit either. But we're talking about you and Omar. And you're gonna get hurt. I can see it coming. Okay, Mom. Well, I took tomorrow off, and I'm going to do it. Girl, bye. I, I, I'm tired of this. It's too much. You've got someone very special. Someone that a lot of you probably know. She's one of our own. She's here visiting some relatives and decided to stop by and, and pay us a visit because this is where she started. Her beautiful voice is only matched by her beauty in her soul. Without further ado, I give you Lonnie. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. Thank y'all all for coming out. It's so good seeing all of y'all. A lot of y'all I haven't seen in a while, but it feels good to be home. I'm so glad to be back on Waldorf, singing for my favorite people, my family, my friends. Y'all, just thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. No matter what you tell me, I'm not coming back. And even if you beg me, I can't fall for that. Be a man.
Chou, Chou, it's on good to left, see you. Oh, oh my goodness, you fellas, going? it's so what good to see you. Thank you, on, you all man. for coming out. Yeah. We need all the help we can get. Hey, How's that? You that fine young motherfucker you got performing. Oh, now, Joe, 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 Joe. That's just wishful thinking, brother. I, I you know, you know, you tune a young yeah. ass up. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know that. Yeah. That's what you say now. <laughs> but gentlemen, thank you for coming out. You know, she's one of our own, right? right she's from right. right here in Waldorf, right. and you know, she got a big name. But she came tonight just to let us know she ain't forgot who her people are. Yeah. Well, look here. See, I heard that old Joe said, "Hello." Okay, <laughs> Joe. Joe. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell her that you old. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, now. Right, Fellas, well, enjoy. I'll get back to you a little bit later. All right. All right. So you don't have any kids, right? Nope. No kids. Good. Why you say that? Because they grow up. <laughs> Isn't that the point? <laughs> no, it isn't. Well, Almighty, what is the point? Marge and kids is all one big joke. Never mind. <laughs> now, money and women, that's the way to go. Goddamn, I hear that. Girl, how you doing? Thank you so much for coming. And with Thank that, you. I'm going home to my wife. <laughs> Good deal. You're in no condition to drive, man. You know how many times I've driven home drunk? I have no idea. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> but apparently, there's been more than I can count. I don't need any help now. Jose? Come on, Joe. What the fuck, man? Why are you trying so fast? Man, look, man. I, I just left the bar. I'm only two blocks away from home. Man, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Come on, Jose. Man, I'm just gonna fall your ass. So you turned him against me, didn't you? What are you didn't talking you? about? Don't lie to what me, you bitch. I have no idea you what you're talking You're going to tell me one way or the other. What are you talking about, Joe? Then explain to me why Omar tried to kick me out of my own goddamn house. I have no idea. I have no idea. See, you got the guns? Yeah. Yeah. Only two? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm working on the other one. We stay here tonight. We don't go home. I want to go home, Mo. I want to see Mom. Just... Just in case. We shouldn't go home, Bex. Okay. We go together. Oh. What's up, man? I'm scared. I know. Me too. Look, if you wake up in the morning and you still feel the same way, don't go through with it, all right? Trey not can handle it.
Hello. Jackson? Hi, Miss Forbes. Jessica called in. She had a family emergency. If at all possible, I really need you to come in today. Yes, I'll be in. Oh, great. Thank you, Jasmine. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. I'll see you soon. Appointment. You want me to take her instead? Well, I did have an interview at 10 this morning. I'll call out now if you want me to. Yeah. All right. You know what? You just started working there. Maybe it isn't such a good idea you call in so soon. You sure? Yeah. I'll reschedule my interview. All right. Yeah. Not you, not you. Love you. Good morning. Good morning. I see we ran a little late today. Yeah. Yeah, I almost didn't even come in myself. My daughter had a little fever this morning. Oh, is she okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. Could you do me a favor? What's up? Could you grab me a turkey club sandwich? I'm probably not going to get a lunch break because I came in so late. You sure? I normally be eating there. It's okay, it's okay. Alright. Uh, mm, you know what? I'm just bring it back. You sure? Yeah, I'm eating the break room. It ain't that bad. Thank you. No problem. Miss Forbes from Prominence Bank Group. Okay. Your loan was approved. Great, then uh, yeah, I'll be down there doing my lunch. Okay, see you soon. Okay. Great. See you then. Do you want me to stay here? No, come with me. Okay. How can I help you today? Um, I need a cashier's check for this amount. May I see your ID, please? I'm about to go. It was a turkey club, right? Yes, thank you. Miss Forbes, do you mind um, approving this amount, please? That's a large amount, so my manager has to approve it. I make this out to you, yes? Uh, no. Actually, make it out to Joshua Davies.
are you doing here? God damn it, Jasmine. Shit. Stay over there, Jasmine. Don't come near me. Are you serious? What is going on out here? Hey, shut the fuck up. Oh, what are you doing? I'm not supposed to be here. Well, why put my neck out on a lot of you do some shit like this? Oh, chill her the fuck shut up. Shut the fuck up. Who are you even talking to? Jasmine, shut up. Shut up. You telling me to shut up? Put the gun down and think about what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? Because from where I'm standing, you're looking really fucking stupid. Now wake the fuck up and get out of here. Can't do that. Oh, let's go. But I won't let you. Jasmine, get out of my way, or you're going to make me do something I don't want to do. What you going to do? Hmm? What you going to do? What you gonna do? Shit. Anyone else got something to say? Huh? Good. Now get over there. Now who's the manager? What's your name? Forbes. Renee Forbes. Handle them till I get back. Alright. Everybody, over there. Now! Relax. Nobody's gonna get hurt here. Okay, so what is it that you want? Well, the first thing I want you to do is call the cops. Huh? You heard me. Dial 911. Now! What's your emergency? Hi, yes. This is Miss Forbes with Prominence Bank Group. And we're getting robbed. You've been robbed? Yes. Okay, okay, Miss Forbes. Can you describe the robbery? Look, lady. She told you the name of the bank. We have hostages. We want the money to pay our mom's rent for the remainder of her lease. And we want our father fired from the police force. His name is Joe Brown. Now get some cops down here now! Okay? Now alert the media. The media? Yeah, a news anchor, anybody.
Two teenagers armed. Hostages? Can't confirm, but we think so. Well, I'm assuming that they're all. So, uh, what else? Well, one of them called dispatch. <laughs> they want the balance of the mother's rent paid. Wait, what? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? They're robbing a bank for rent? These fucking kids, what's wrong with them? What else? Well, they want their father fired from the police force. You shit me, right? No. Alright, well, who's the lucky dad? Joe Brown. Joe Brown. Yes. You guys are ass. Alright, what else? Get this. They want to make a statement to the media. Of course they do. Alright. Officer Porter, we need to get them on the phone, right? Coming from my office. What are we gonna do? We've come this far. We gotta finish it. Finish what? Make sure they give us what we asked for. Oh, Trey is dead. I know! That's why we have to finish it. Watch them while I take this call. Got it. Yeah. What's your name, son? Omar. Okay, Omar, this is Police Chief Harrison. You can call me Carrie if you want. Okay. So, uh, rough day, huh? Don't do that. Do what? Pretend like you care. No, I wouldn't be here if I didn't care, Omar. I got kids your age, it's very real. Look, man, you know what I want. Once our demands are met, we'll release the hostages and I'll turn myself in. Okay, okay, calm down a little bit. All right, is anybody hurt? What difference does it make? Dax, come on, man. Ain't now ain't the time, coach. It's not too late. Dax, you, you got me killing the one. Think about what you're doing, son. You see him? That was my friend, and he died for me. Now I need for him to die. I didn't mean for anyone to die. But now shit getting out of control. And at this point, there ain't nothing you can say that'll make me change my mind. So please just shut the fuck up before I do some of my regret. But look, I ain't trying to hear this shit, alright? Call me when my demands are made. Fuck! Something went wrong in that bank. What's going on? You don't want to know. What you mean? And why y'all looking at me like that? It's your boys, Joe. My boys? What are you talking about? Oh, hell no. Nah. Nah, no, man. Come on now, nah, man. They're my boys, man. We got a problem over here? What's up? Sir, listen. Those are my boys in there. I can handle this. I know exactly what to do. Really, you know what to do. I don't think you do, Joe, or your boys wouldn't be in there fucking robbing the bank as we speak. We got it from here. You're down. Look, don't hurt my boys, man. Don't hurt my boys. Down. My boys are in there. Cuff him and put him in the car. Bullshit, man. You want us to take him down to the station? Sadly, we might need him. I'm sorry. What? You had a plan. I know. You used me. Jazz, I can fix this, okay? How old two people are dead? I know. No one else is gonna die. I promise. Your brother can't even play in the NBA now.
Look, just go back over there, all right? I got it from here. I'm gonna make this right. Jazz. So what are you thinking? I'm thinking the sooner we de-escalate this, the better. <laughs> How do you do that? Well, we're not asking for much, so we give them what they want. Get the mother's rent money, firebrand. They turn into hostages. They turn themselves in. We go home watching all the news. So fire Brown, just like that. Just like that. He's an ass. He's been, I've been covering for him for 10 years. All right? So, yeah. You the boss. Hey. Something went wrong in there. He's desperate. I can hear it in his voice. We need to close this down quick. All right? Hi, Tori. Hey, have you watched the news? No, why? What's the name of that bank Tristan works at? Prominence Bank Group? It's being held up as we speak. What? I just heard it on the radio. To the damn phone, Tristan. Omar. Yeah. Hey, uh, we got your we got your mom's money. Alright? Your dad's uh walking papers are in order and we got somebody from the press waiting for you. Still there, Omar? Yeah. Alright, well, we did our part. I need you to do yours. Okay. All right, good. I'm going to start with the hostages. I'm coming up. Omar, we need to start with the hostages. I said I'm coming out. That's not what we agreed on, Omar. My brother was innocent, okay? This was all my plan. He had nothing to do with it. I understand that, Look, but... We don't even have real guns. We have pellet guns. Omar, are the hostages safe? Yeah. All right, then we need to release the hostages part. Not gonna happen. Look, Omar, we did our part now. And I'm gonna do mine. I said I'm coming out. You say he's coming out? Really? We need to tell the officers to stand down. I repeat, stand down. What? They said they robbed the bank of Pelagos. And you believe them? It's not a question whether I believe them or not. The question is, do we want to risk shooting a teenager with a pellet gun? Yeah, but what if they don't have a pellet gun? Mm. Mm. I don't want a dead teenager on my conscience. All right, so let them know. Stand down. Copy that. Look, everyone, I'm sorry. I fucked up. All I wanted to do Let's get the money to help my mom. These guns aren't even real. It's the pellet gun. My brother has a pellet gun too. We thought our friend had a pellet gun. No one was supposed to die. All right. I'm going to turn myself in.
I'm going to try to make this right, little bro. I'm going to come in and grab you. Don't resist. All right? Give me the gun. I'm sorry. You don't have to do this. Leave the guns at least. Pink up with pellet guns. Fucking kidding me. had nothing to do with this. He didn't hurt anyone, he didn't kill anyone. This, this was all my idea. I get it, Omar. I get that, all right? But for now, I need your hands up. I need you to turn around slow. I need you to promise me my brother won't go to jail. He's a good kid. He has a bright future. He was just back in my place. I get that, Omar. But for now, for your own safety, all right? Put your hands up, up high. Do it, Omar. Up high, I don't need anybody to die today, okay? No one was supposed to die. No one was supposed to Hold your fire, hold your fire. Omar, look at me. Omar, Omar, breathe deep. Take a deep breath, look at me, okay? I'm here to help you, all right? You're helping your mom, I get it, okay? Everybody makes mistakes, okay? But we can fix this, okay? You're young, Omar, huh? You're young, you got a lot of life to live, Omar. Please don't blow this right now, please. Let me help you, Omar. Turn around. Turn around, there you go, nice and slow. No sudden movements, very good. Arms up, Omar. Arms up. I need you to walk slowly towards your back. Slowly, slowly. Slowly. Stop. Hands up. Good. Good choice, Omar. Very good, Omar. Good choice.
stay home. I made him go to work. our news tonight, the two suspects that were taken into custody yesterday after an attempted bank robbery on Sutton Place have been identified as Omar and Dexter Brown, on-duty security guard Tristan Hines, and another alleged bank robber Trey Lawson were pronounced dead on the scene. At their arraignment this afternoon, the two teenage brothers expressed deep remorse to the judge and told of the horrific abuse that was taking place in their home at the hands of their father, who is a 17-year veteran on the police force. Later in a statement that was released by their attorney, the brothers apologized to their mother and friends saying, quote, we just wanted to save our mom, close quote. We will continue to bring you the latest as this story unfolds. In other news, the president. How you been, sis? I've been good. You? I'm good. What's on your mind? You know that kid that got killed at the bank robbery? Oh my God, don't tell me he worked for you? Yeah. I'm so sorry. You know, he just had a baby. I heard. That was his first real job. Prior to that, he was hustling. So sad. I mean, how messed up is that? He turns around his life, then gets killed. It's not your fault, Noah. You did the right thing. You reached back into your community and you gave another young brother a chance. Whatever happened after that, that's not on you. Yeah. There'll be more. There'll be more just like him that'll need a break. You just gotta keep up with him.
Thank you.